Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you very much for checking out this video. In this video we'll be looking at the PFD, the primary flight display. Let's first look at the uh, left hand uh, speed scale and all the symbols that are displayed on it. At the moment we're flying at uh, 340 knots and at 350 knots you can see the uh, red strip starting which uh, indicates the VMO, MMO, the maximum indicated or the maximum max speed. I'll just quickly demonstrate what happens when you fly above the maximum VMO or MMO. As you can see, and here, the overspeed warning has just activated. If you go even further into the um, overspeed, the autopilot will disconnect and a pitch-up moment uh, will occur in order to uh, trade the energy and uh, reduce the speed. In the meantime, we've reduced the speed considerably, presently passing 230 knots. And at 230 knots, you can see two amber strips. This is the VFE next symbol showing the flaps and slats placard speed, i.e. the maximum speed for the next flap setting. So since we're in clean configuration at the moment, this means that at 230 knots or below, we can set the flap lever to one. That's what we'll do now. And so flaps one. You can see that immediately the red strips appear at uh, 230 knots, which is the placard speed for the actual configuration we're in now. Reducing the speed further, you can see the next two amber strips showing the placard speed for the next flap setting, which in this case is uh, flaps 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and select flaps 2. And now you see the maximum speed strip at 200 knots. And again, the next uh, two amber strips indicating the next uh, VFE for the next configuration, which will be flaps 3. Okay, let's get into the proper landing configuration. Gear down. Now at about 142 knots, you can see another symbol. It's the so-called F-speed, the flap retraction speed. This symbol plays an important part when cleaning up the aircraft. Okay, so now that we are in landing configuration, we're going to have a look at the lower speed limitations. So at about 132 knots, you can see a thin amber line. This represents the VLS speed, i.e. the lowest selectable speed, or let's just say the lowest speed that you should fly. Next comes the black and amber strip, which represents the alpha protection speed. When the actual speed drops into this area, the so-called alpha flow protection is triggered. Then uh, toga thrust is commanded regardless of the thrust lever positions. I'll demonstrate this in a few seconds. But first I need to tell you what the uh, red area at about 112 knots means. The top of the red uh, speed strip shows the maximum angle of attack speed. This means that the airspeed will just not drop below that speed the aircraft itself will do everything necessary to stay above that speed, i.e. increase thrust and uh, decrease the pitch. So you can see that the speed has dropped into the angle of attack protection speed band and alpha floor is activated and automatically maximum thrust is commanded by the auto thrust system. 
Once the speed increases above the alpha protection speed, the thrust mode will change from alpha floor to toga lock. This means that toga thrust is locked until you switch off the auto thrust system. Okay, so now let's uh, clean up the aircraft and uh, come back to the uh, F symbol. So the F speed is the minimum speed at which the flaps may be retracted after takeoff. So when in flaps 3, you can uh, select flaps 1 straight away. And once you've selected flaps 1, you can see another symbol appearing, the so-called S speed. The S speed is the so-called slapped retraction speed, i.e. that's the speed at which you can select flaps 0. Once selecting flaps 0, you can see another symbol, a so-called green dot. This speed indicates the best lift to drag ratio. And that comes in handy when you have an engine out and uh, flying in clean configuration. And that concludes the video on the so-called characteristic speeds of the A320. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to leave a thumbs up. Once again, thanks a lot for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.